Um, let me start by telling you one story, okay? Once upon a time, there were two friends. One of them was Tom, the other one's Mike. And Tom and Mike decided one day to go on a hike. As they get into the woods and walking around, and suddenly come across a very hungry grizzly bear. And this grizzly bear sees them and goes, lunch, and decides to chase after them. So these two guys start to run for their lives. The faster they run, the more the grizzly bear gains on them. The faster they run, the more he catches up. Finally, Mike takes off his backpack, reaches in and takes off this Nike super zoom something fly, really light kind of shoes and puts it on. These shoes make you fly. At that moment, Tom looks over at him and goes, what are you doing, man? You know, you're never gonna outrun the bear. He looks over at him and says, Tom, you got it wrong. I don't need to outrun the bear. All I need to do is outrun you. So, now, who, who wants to be Tom? Anybody wants to be Tom? Lunch? Who wants to be Mike? That's right. So this is the funny thing. A lot of brands out there behave like Tom. When they face an issue, they react to it. And oftentimes, it's a very cliche way of dealing with it. So for example, in a luxury category, it goes, oh, I want to do something luxurious, so I show a lot of bling, I show a lot of status. It's very linear that way. But there's other solutions to it that Mike comes up with, which is a smarter, a lot more efficient, and you won't be someone else's lunch, right? So let me show you some ideas that is very much like Mike's ideas. Time out. Um, what I just told you just now was the opening of a presentation to a client that we had in China, uh, who was a very difficult client, who came to this presentation with something fixed in his head. He wanted a lot of bling, he wanted a lot of status kind of stuff, premium stuff. You guys all heard these terminologies before, haven't you? So, it was designed, this story was designed to disarm this particular client. Why? Because this client cannot in good conscience be in this room and say, no, I want a Tom solution because he'll look like a fool. So what happened was that this story made it impossible for him to choose the cliche way to go about it. Now, the tension is all yours. Now we're selling him something that is interesting, that is different. 